it is once again that time of the year where we have Minecraft Mob Vote. But this year's one, Minecraft Mob Vote 2023, well, let's just say is a lot more controversial than any other year. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you what I am going to be voting for myself, my opinions on the whole controversy and the boycott the uh, mob vote and what Mojang should do in my opinion to actually improve the game and the Minecraft mob votes as well as what they should do in 1.21 so sit back and enjoy. Now the winners of the four previous Minecraft mob votes include the glow squid which I find utterly useless to this day I have never once used a glow sign we have also gained the LA which really I still can't see the use of it at all like I know all it does is carry your stuff around for you just one item but really still I've never used an LA in the entire time that has been in Minecraft and I've seen them a lot if I see them in a pillager outpost realistically no one saves them because there's no use in them and we also had the sniffer this year which came out with 1.20 and once again they're so rare to find that I've never used one if you look on my Emerald County world I still haven't found a sniffer egg and that's because they're so hard to find that I just haven't been bothered to try find one. I mean I guess that they do give you torch flowers and what's the other, and whatever the other one is. But really apart from that, again, what is the functionality of them? And then of course we have everybody's favourite mob in the game. These little pests. I can honestly tell you that I absolutely hate phantoms. Like honestly what is their purpose? I know that they drop phantom membranes which are used to fix your elytra, but come on. We have mending, we don't need these, we just need an XP farm and we're sorted. These things primarily exist to be an annoying little pest. Literally ask any member of the Minecraft community what is their least favourite mob and I can guarantee you the majority of those people are going to say these absolute idiots. I absolutely hate them, don't see the point in them. And this really shows the problem of Minecraft mob votes. But obviously this year we have three brand new contestants. And two of them in my opinion are really, really good. First of all we have the Armadillo. Which if you guys don't know will provide armour for your dogs. And we all know how much Minecraft dogs mean to Minecraft players. It absolutely stinks whenever a Minecraft dog is killed. And you go on an absolute rampage. So armour for those dogs is going to be so, so good. We also have the crab, which will enable builders like me to be able to stretch out how far we can build. Because trust me, one of the main problems of building massive projects is the reach that you have when you're building. So a crab will be super, super useful. And then we also have the penguin. While the penguin is cute, I don't really see the use in it at all because... I haven't really used a boat since 2015 or something because we have Elytra. If I'm going to travel great distances, I'm not going to craft a boat and travel by ocean. I'm going to go by Elytra because it's so much faster or even never travel because it's even faster than that. Like, honestly, the penguin, yeah, it'll be cute, but I still don't see the purpose in it. But what am I going to vote for in the Minecraft mob vote? Personally, I am going to be voting for the crab because as you can see from behind me, I'm a very, very keen builder and we have not had an upgrade to building mechanics since Bamboo came out over four years ago now. So this brand new thing going to building will be game changing for people like me who actually really, really love the creative aspect of Minecraft. But that brings me on to the main problem with Minecraft mob bro, especially this year internet in the past four days then I can guarantee that you have most likely heard these words revolt against the mob vote that is right this year people are so upset with Mojang that they are literally revolting against the Minecraft mob vote they want all three mobs and to be honest I can see why they are some very very good options and Mojang can definitely do it now why I did say I am voting for the crap that is only because I really, really want the crab to be in Minecraft. Because that's just something I really, really want. And there's no guarantee that Mojang are actually going to listen to us and may still go with the Minecraft mob vote. So that is why I'm still voting. But I 100% agree with what everybody is saying. Mojang definitely needs to up their game. I mean, come on. It's three mobs. And just for clarification, after the three mobs were announced... People were making mods where those mobs were in the game 
within 15 hours of the last mob being announced. And Mojang, they have 8 months on average until 1.21 comes out. As you all know, Minecraft updates usually come out in June time. And obviously right now it's October. They have 8 months to implement 3 mobs that some people on their own are coding into the game in just 15 hours or less. And that is definitely a problem that Mojang will be experiencing. And is definitely something that is holding this game back. Now I know that Mojang really want to keep the integral idea of the game being very basic, very vanilla. But we want to move on. We know how nostalgic people are for Minecraft. But we also know how much we want the game to change. It is such a big game at this point that Mojang have to tackle both sides. But I think Mojang really need to move on with their key concepts. Now if you think back to about... A couple of years ago, before the Minecraft mob votes, we didn't, we knew what was coming in the updates, but they were so full of just things. It was super, super cool. I can't really remember the mob votes and any of the updates before the Minecraft mob votes, but let me just tell you that they were some really, really big updates. We had some massive ones come out, and it was an amazing time to be playing Minecraft. But ever since recently, especially in the past four or five years, you've sort of noticed that Minecraft is changing how their updates are rolling out. Now, let's go to the 2018 Minecraft mob vote. Update Aquatic. Now, again, that was a massive update. Like... It completely changed the oceans entirely. It brought in phantoms and a bunch of other stuff that I can't quite remember because it was five years ago. But it was an amazing update. It brought in tridents, drowned, which are sort of useful for drowned farms, but also an absolute pain when you're trying to do anything underwater. They brought in all the corals and everything like that. It was a super, super cool update. 2019, we had the village and pillage update. One of the biggest updates that there ever was on Minecraft. Completely overhauling the villager trading system making it so so useful it is now one of the it was always a key aspect of the game but now it is so good it is a really really powerful thing and obviously they're changing it now but it was an absolutely amazing thing and also it brought in pillagers whole new aspect to the game's raids pandas um foxes we also had sweet berries bamboo um what was it also? Scaffolding, a complete texture overhaul. If you are new to the Minecraft community, then these textures are not what we used to have. They are so, so different and so much better for most things. Don't look at Bedrock because Bedrock textures still sort of need to be fixed about. Then we also had 1.15, was it? I still can't believe that this was a full update. 1.15 does not deserve to be a full update. That was the Buzzy Bees update. Infamous for being one of the laziest updates Minecraft has ever done, I'd say. It literally introduced bees, and that's it. That is literally all they added. And it was a major update, released in November, which was completely random, and no one knew why. If anything, it should have included it in 1.14. That's why I always felt like it was. I always felt like it was a part of 1.14, that never got fully coded before the release. And that has always been a bug for me for absolute ages. But then 2020 came around and we got the 1.16 update. The biggest update in Minecraft history at the time. The Never update. Complete overhaul of the Never. We brought in four new biomes, was it? We had the Badlands, the Soul, La uh, the Soul Sand biomes, uh, whatever they're called. We had Crimson Forest and Warped Forest as well. As well as Neverite. Which is now the most overpowered thing in the game. Absolutely massive update. And then once again, 1.17 uh, was a small update preparing us. And once again, what did it bring? It brought copper. Not really that cool. And honestly, maybe some of the... I think moss and some of the blocks. Uh, but again, it was just a build up for 1.18. Which was again, a massive, massive update. Completely overhauling mountains and caves. Which again, was a super, super cool update. I absolutely loved it. Then, 1.19. Slowed down again. While we did get the swamps and the ancient cities. I don't really use them. Like, yes, I've used the swamps for that build there. But again, they're so far out. I don't really use mangroves at all. And the warden, Jesus, is the most overpowered mob in the game. He is literally more powerful than the Ender Dragon. 
I mean, I defeated the Ender Dragon in one go easily now. But the the Warden, full Neverite, with totems, and it can absolutely destroy the best hardcore players. It's absolutely insane. And then don't even get me started on 1.20. What did we get in 1.20? We got a new tree, armor trims, and pottery. Not that big of an update, if you tell me. Like, literally, it was a very, very small update. But that is why I am hoping for 1.21. Because of what has happened with some very small updates, if we look at the past four years, we have been getting 1.15 small update, 1.16 massive update, 1.17 small, 1.18 gigantic. That is what I'm really hoping for. 1.20 was a very, very small update. But that might mean, and what I'm really hoping for, is 1.21 is going to be an absolutely gigantic update if we look at the trends. What I am hoping for is that 1.21 is just being worked on so, so much. And I really hope that it has an element of either an end update, because that's something, as a community, we really, really want. But also a building update. If the crab wins, I have a feeling it could be a building update, which would be absolutely, mass absolutely massive. And I have a whole other video just talking about a building update, what that can do very, very soon. But that is my anyway, guys, that is my opinion on the Minecraft mob vote of 2023, including what I am voting for and what I think Mojang should do in order to save this mob vote and potentially even save the game. So if you guys did enjoy this video, then make sure to like and subscribe. I have been Emerald Lord, and I will see you in the next Minecraft video. Goodbye.